So, you want to beat the Arms Dealer Nightfall on Grandmaster difficulty? Well, let me show you how. For loadouts, you can go two different directions here. The first option is great for breezing through the entire strike by having all three players use Arbalist to easily crack all Void and Solar Shields, as well as break down barrier champion shields. Hand Cannon is great for its unstoppable stunning capabilities and nice red bar damage, but a Pulse Rifle can work just fine if you prefer the bonus range instead. Linear Fusions are recommended for Heavy for their great ammo efficiency and for the ability to double dip into Linear Fusion armor mods along with the Arbalist. Loadout option number two is designed specifically for an easier boss melt with two players running the same Arbalist and Energy weapon as before, but with a Solar Rocket for the 25% bonus Solar damage instead of the Linear Fusion. The third player will want the same Energy weapon as before, but with a Kinetic Scout Rifle for anti-barrier help, and a Galahorn in the exotic slot for the Wolfpack rounds. For classes, Hunters want Mobius Quiver with Trapper's Ambush, Vanishing Step, and Omnioculus. Warlocks want Cataclysm Nova Bomb with Chaos Accelerant, Feed the Void, and Controverse Hold, and Titans want Middle Tree Arc with Curious of the Falling Star. I also recommend having a Lucent Finisher mod somewhere on the team. All three classes bring equal value to the table, with each one opting for a Burst Damage Super to drop the boss instantly. Begin the strike by dropping the Barrier Colossus and Unstoppable Incendior along with the Void Shielded Incendiors and other trash mobs. Next, advance outside after the hack and take out the ship first, after which you can slowly work your way through everything else, prioritizing the snipers on the left and at the back, as well as the Unstoppable Champion that arrives later in the phase. After killing everything, grab the ball in advance where you'll kill some dogs, two barrier colossi, and the thresher ship to the right, after which you can dunk the ball and then fall back to knock out the trash mobs and unstoppable incendiar. Advance to clear the small room with a few trash mobs, after which you'll arrive outside. Hop on your sparrow and head to the lower left where you can climb up and run across the rocks to skip past everything. Just make sure you turn around and kill the barrier colossus for platinum before you proceed. The next room is made easiest by first killing the tank with special and heavy, but it's perfectly fine to slowly work through some of the adds and unstoppable incendiar before going for the kill. After you work your way into the room, interact with the keypad on the right, after which you can clean up the rest of the mobs as well as the two barrier colossi up top. Next, activate the keypad at the top left to spawn the tank. If you're fast, you can insta burn the tank with your special, heavy, and supers, and then drop all three unstoppable incendiars. If you want to take this a bit more slowly, however, feel free to drop down below the elevator where the tank can't hit you while you deal with the unstoppables that will run into you. After clearing everything out, kill the dogs at the door and proceed through the hallway. In this next room, if you went with rockets, you'll want to do your best to have your Lucent Finisher player generate enough ammo for all players to have 5-6 to six rockets. Work your way through the waves of enemies and take out the Unstoppable Incendior and 2 Barrier Colossi. After clearing everything, you can interact with the keypad at the end to bring down a Cabal Drop Pod with a few Legionaries, after which you can ride the elevator up to kill the boss. A few things to note here, you can send a player to climb up the chain which will make the boss spawn early, giving you more time to damage him as you ride the elevator up. Just be careful as he can shoot back at you. If you went with rockets, you should have no problem spamming them at him for the kill. If you went with linears, damaging here can be a bit rough as hitting his head can be difficult with the elevator moving. Either that or I'm just really bad. If you can't get enough damage for the kill once you hit the top but got him to below half at least, kill all of the flame turrets and then head over to the north west corner of the catwalk. He should jump right back down from the tower after jumping up and run across the catwalk giving you an easy angle to beam him for the kill. And that's everything. If this video helped, I would appreciate it if you would consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. If you want to support me and my content even more, you can do so by using the links in the description, such as my Twitch channel, where you can watch live Grandmaster Nightfall carries and possibly even run with me, or my coffee page, where you can aid me in producing content like this. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.